Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags and Metal Reviews and today we're getting our first impression of the brand new Unleashed The Archers album titled Abyss. So Abyss is the follow up to 2017's Apex, which we reviewed on this channel. It was the very first album we reviewed on this channel. It was a toenail away from Two Toe Tags. It was pretty close. Very close. We reacted to two videos off of this album, Soulbound, and the title track, Abyss. Liked both songs. I wasn't crazy about either song, but I feel like this is an album that you gotta hear the whole album before you can appreciate really anything about it yeah. at its full potential. Especially because this is a concept album and is a continuation of Apex. Right. I didn't really follow the story very much at all. Yeah. Maybe I knew a little bit about the Apex story, but I'm pretty sure this takes place exactly where Apex left off. Yeah, I did follow it quite a bit, but honestly my memory's not the greatest and I don't quite remember it, but it had something to do with this this um, being that lived in the mountains. He comes, he gets summoned down to do some biddings of, a, of an evil queen or something like that, or an evil matriarch, and he ends up butchering everybody and goes back to his mountain to retreat. And I think, and now, they're, I think now they're in space. I don't know if they're in or space, something. but it's, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> don't Abyss, know. Abyss tells me it's down, not up. Anyways, we're gonna listen to it for the first time in its entirety. We'll be back in just a second to give you guys our first impressions. Okay, we're back. We just listened to Abyss in its entirety. And I'll keep the floor here and start off by saying that this album gave me really mixed feelings. Because there's stuff about this album that I really did like and I really did vibe with. But if I were to give like my, my overall first impression just right now, right here quickly, I would say that it wasn't that impressive. It's hard not to compare it to Apex. Apex is a strong album. Um, I really love that album. I feel like it's a shame it didn't get two toe tags. Um, at the time we reviewed it, maybe we were a little too harsh, I don't know. But this album doesn't feel like it lives up to that standard. And when you have an album, like when you have a sequel to something, you always want the yeah. sequel to be better. Now a lot of people will say, oh, it's not as good as the original and all that stuff. I'm, I, like, I hate when people say stuff like that. But in this case, I'm gonna be the guy that I hate. Because <laughs> this album doesn't, it doesn't live up to the, to the standards and the hype that Apex did, at least on a first impression. This is one impression. There's reasons why it doesn't live up to that standard for me. I mean, think about it though. It's supposed to do that. This is the sequel to the story. Yeah. Like this, you know, the albums go together. So you expect this to be at the same level of quality or better, right? Right. The so they did, they did go through a lineup change. I know they lost um, one of their founding members, a guitar player who was responsible. I'm sure, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was responsible for most of the, the male harsh vocals that the fans ha has had before. Um, and I don't know if they replaced him with a new member or just stuck with whatever they had left and got other people to fill the void. Um, so that might have affected this, the sound of the band. The mix on this album is really good. Everything sounds really, really clean and really like well mixed. But I felt like there was this constant wall of synth that was basically happening through the entire album. Was it overbearing? No. Was it annoying? No but it felt like it was always there and I felt like there were certain parts where I was really noticing it and I was going, okay, this is a little bit much. Let's break it down a little bit. Um, and you even mentioned something about a song. I did write a note about it. Oh, was it uh, Through Stars? Where there was uh -huh. this weird clicky sound? Because in that song, in the chorus, I noticed there was this weird clicking noise and I didn't know if it was, you know, some of the transients of the synth or if it was something on the hi-hat or what that was, but I'm like, what is this thing? Yeah, where I first noticed it was actually track four, Legacy. Um, it starts off with like a blast beat type of thing with arpeggios going on, and there's a lot of wild stuff happening, but there's this wall of synth, like an orb yeah. of synth holding it all together, and I felt like it just didn't need to be there. Um, the vocals are great. Um, Britney hits some really, really nice notes, specifically in that song. I don't know my notes, I don't know what kind of notes she's hitting, but I can just tell when it's nice, it's fucking nice. Um, she has great harmonies on this album, and in general, she's a really talented singer, but the harmonies yeah. are sick. Specifically yeah. at uh, the beginning of Soulbound, holy shit, it's so good. Yeah, and Soulbound, another note I wrote for that song is that that's the first song on the album, this is track number six out of 10. This is the first song that actually felt like a follow up to Apex, for me. The rest of the songs felt like they were just New songs on a new album. This song felt like it was actually a follow-up to Apex. Interesting you say that because I started to feel that with the track right before that, track number five, Return to Me. There's a cool growl at the start, 
cool vocal layering. Overall, it gave me the Apex vibes of kind of the power. Mm. And then same thing for Soulbound as well. I just kind of felt it a track earlier than you, I guess. Yeah, another thing that I think might have held this album back, but it is something that could grow on me, unlikely, but could, is that there's a lot of softness on this album, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, per se, but TV Fish points it out, like, when you're listening to a power metal band, you want power metal, like... Or you this, want something really epic. Yeah, something you know? epic, or something that's got some just, maybe not, like, fast energy, but still, like, powerful energy. But there's a couple songs on here, like, um, Through Stars, which is track three, and Carry the Flame, track number nine. I felt like they had a very 80s vibe to them. Like, something you might hear, like, Journey play or something like that. And that's not a bad thing per se, but it's not really what I'm looking for from this band. I don't want to. I don't want to get '80s vibes from Unleash the Archers. I mean, it's okay to have a song as lighthearted as one of those, but I feel like Through Stars being track number three was not the right move. I feel yeah. like Through Stars could have been in the same position as Carry the Flame. Personally, I think it's fine to have as like, you know, the one last thing, the last light thing before the epic finale, right? Right. What was your highest rated track? Soulbound. Track number six, that song just, you know, I literally said it has the epic energy that I know this band for. I listen yep. to this band, I listen to some songs from Apex, I listen to whatever, and it has that power to it, that edge to it, and it's sick. That being said, about the, the upbeatness of some of the songs, I think it goes both ways. I think on some tracks, like Through Stars, it's like it didn't really do much for me, but on Legacy, it actually worked a little bit better for me there. Even though that's a really, it's a really upbeat song, but I yeah. liked it a lot more. I could grasp it a lot better than Through Stars. I felt that overall it was just better, you know? Yeah. I also really liked Return to Me. I mentioned that it gave me the Apex vibes as well. There was one song actually. Which one was it? Um, was it Faster Than Light, track number seven, and the chorus sounded a lot like the chorus of Awakening, which is the first track from Apex. It yeah. had the same drum groove and not the same melody, but it's the same key. Like you can sing the chorus of Awakening on top of that and it works. Yeah. And obviously there's no way that's not intentional. This that's is the design choice, sequel. Yeah. Obviously if you're gonna have, you know, musical stories, you're gonna reference, you know, the same things and stuff. Like it's all gonna be connected. Like that makes perfect sense, but it's cool to see that and to notice that. Yeah, speaking of Faster Than Light, that's actually my highest rated track. Um, right off the bat, I got uh, Sonata Arctica vibes, and Sonata Arctica is a band with a pretty broad range of sound, but I'm talking about like the good Sonata Arctica. <laughs> the, 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 the fast, energetic, just falls to the walls. Really cool stuff. I was really vibing with this song. The chorus is super catchy. The solo is decent, but it's pretty short. Um, which was my gripe with a lot of the solos. They're really good, but a lot of them are short, and the ones that are longer are just kind of like, okay. Yeah, they, they range from good to great, because there are some solid solos. Yeah, so. but uh, the song has really cool guitar tones. The riffs on this album are good for the most part, but there's some that are a little bland. Um, but the outro for Faster Than Light was also really cool, because you got some shredding going on and a lot of stuff happening, but you still got this, this um, ambient synth just in your face or in your ear rather, it's kind of all, all the time, and it was a little bit much for me, um, but I don't know, who knows, throughout the week, maybe that will grow on me, maybe it will annoy me more, maybe it will start to annoy you, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're gonna listen to the album for the entire week and uh, develop our thoughts and opinions, and we'll be back in a week to give you guys our full and final review of Abyss, so be sure to like this video if you liked it, comment down below and let us know what you guys think of this album, if you're fans of the band or not, Comment down below. But that's it from us for now. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. Keep those heads banging. 